What is going on guys, TD for 3 here, and I'm back again with another video. In this video we are going to be talking about the Volume Shooter Badge. A badge that I have been using the entire year. I love it. A lot of people don't really understand how good it is. But in this video we're going to talk about it and how it is always activating. So if you can see there, that was only my second shot of the game. Look in the top right corner. Right after quick draw. Ranger Thunder, here comes Volume Shooter. That is after two shots. Two shots, Volume Shooter is already activating. And if the badge is activating, that means that it's working. I mean, it's pretty obvious that if it's popping up, that means that the badge is activating and working. So, it is a really good badge, especially if you are taking a high volume shots like I do. So, let's get into the description of the badge, then we're gonna talk more about it and how much it helps. And here we have the volume shooter badge. After a player has taken a small handful of shots, an additional boost to shot attributes is given to every subsequent shot, whether it is a make or miss. So that is saying that if you continue to shoot a lot, high volume shots, that your ratings are going to be higher, which is a huge difference. It's gonna help you green a lot more. Mike Wang said at the beginning of the year that they revamped the badge to where it wasn't like in 2k16 because if you had a volume shooter in 2k16 if you didn't shoot after like a minute or two you would go cold so that's not how it works this year this year they revamped it very well he said if you can keep your shots over one per minute something like that that volume shooter would help you tremendously and i will say that this has been my favorite badge all year i have made sure to have it on hall of fame at all times you don't have to have it on hall of fame i'm going to show you the percentages from bronze silver gold hall of fame on different three-point ratings so i would only suggest just running this on the ball but let's get into those ratings all right so first off i want to give a shout out to nba 2k labs i got this information from them i will put their link in the description below so here we are looking at a 73 point rating and you can see the difference so with none obviously this is also including getting hot so the percentages are going to go up a little bit but if you can look from the attempts the badges even on bronze it is going up each time and look at how high how much higher it is going with hall of fame this right here just shows how important the badge is and this is on a 73 point rating so more than likely this would be like a two-way slashing playmaker which couldn't even get hall of fame but this could also be used for an off ball player you know maybe like a rebounding wing you're probably not going to take more than one shot a minute on a player like this but this is just a good example of what it is like for a player with a 73 point rating so here we have the 93 ball rating and as you can see also makes a huge difference so this will be like your offensive threats your play shots people who are going to be primary ball handlers for the most part so as you can see at hall of fame you're seeing a huge huge jump especially after the seventh attempt and like i said the badge activates after one attempt so even after you take your first shot after you make your second shot it's going to start activating which is huge I cannot tell you how much I like this badge. If you have watched my videos, you have seen that I shoot 75% from three and constantly greening and volume shooter is a huge reason why. I would suggest running this as high as you can as long as you have the badge points to do so. So like I said, this badge is an absolute great badge. I rate it as one of the best shooting badges in the game. See, in this right here, I have not taken a three since I was in nine points. And watch, that volume shooter is still going to activate. And I know I have been taking layups and stuff, but that is another advantage that if you're taking layups and mid ranges, that is going to count towards your volume shooter. It doesn't just have to be three point shooting. So that is also a huge difference if you're someone who likes to take mid range shots, moving shots, just driving dunk, it's still gonna go towards your volume shooter. It's gonna count towards that. So that is another huge thing for this badge. Here's another example. The second half have just started and I come out right away and I green a three and look what's gonna pop up in that top right corner. It is my first shot of the quarter of the second half and there's volume shooter. It is such a good badge, I'm telling you give it a try you will see a huge boost in your three-point percentage and I think it has given me 
a lot better chance of green this year your green percentage will go way up but if you guys do have any questions about this badge please make sure to leave a comment down below drop a like hit that sub button i will answer all your questions uh i do my best at answering everyone's comments so like i said i cannot thank you guys enough for all the support little short video today we will be back with the pro-am gameplay tomorrow thank you guys again for the support like i said any questions just let me know feed for three peace